Support WrestleTalk! Enable notifications. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. After SmackDown Live last night, the Mae Young Classic final between Kerry Sane and Shayna Baszler took place. We're about to enter the spoiler room brawl here, so get ready for the result to be revealed in three, two. It was a returning CM Punk. Nah, just kidding. One, Kerry Sane. Following her victory, ESPN announced that Sane will now challenge for the vacant NXT Women's Champion at NXT TakeOver Houston, which will take place the day before Survivor Series. There's no word yet on who her opponent will be, but a hearty congratulations to the Pirate Princess. Yar! Bottle of rum, scurvy, Paul Birchall. GFW, the new name for TNA, for now at least, hasn't had the best few months as of late. Executive producer Jeff Jarrett was put on indefinite leave last week, and there have been reports of the promotion hemorrhaging money. In addition to all this, GFW W's World Heavyweight Champion Alberto El Patron was suspended following a public incident with his fiancée Paige in July, and he was stripped of the title last month. But near the end of August, it was reported GFW had big plans for Alberto, possibly involving a match against Jarrett at their biggest show of the year, Bound for Glory. With Jarrett's indefinite leave of absence though, many speculated Alberto wouldn't return. Jeff had reportedly been El Patron's main supporter backstage throughout the airport incident controversy, when others wanted to cut all ties with Alberto. In a conference call with the company's new creative team, Scott Demore, Sanjay Dutt and John Gaboric, however, where outlets were asked specifically not to bring up Double J, it was revealed Alberto is still a major part of GFW's Bound for Glory plans. We have plans for Alberto. We're excited that he's going to be coming back at Bound for Glory. Bound for Glory plans which could be a feud against Rey Mysterio. Mysterio. Gaboric added that Alberto vs. Ray have been discussed backstage for one of Bound for Glory's headlining matches, but revealed there have been no negotiations involving Mysterio and GFW. This could just be GFW masking their plans for a big Ray Mysterio debut. Get it? Because he wears a mask. Or it could also suggest that previous negotiations between him and GFW have broken down. Ray currently wrestles for Lucha Underground, but it's third season season, which is almost over on TV, is rumoured to be its last. Presumably looking to his future, Sports Illustrated reported in July that Ray was in talks with both GFW and WWE. But WWE were put off because Mysterio was being represented by Conan, someone Vince McMahon reportedly has a long-standing dislike for, dating back to Conan turning down the Max Moon character, in which WWE invested a lot of time and money, in the early 90s. Dave Meltzer reported that isn't the case though, as Conan would step aside if he was in any way preventing a WWE move that Ray wanted. It was thought GFW would make a huge play for Mysterio, offering him a lighter schedule and the ability to do other projects and dates outside the impact zone. GFW's Karen Jarrett even posted a picture of the two on Instagram when the talks were reportedly taking place. But if Gaboric's comments are to be believed, and GFW really haven't been in talks with Mysterio, or negotiations fell through when Jarrett left the company last week, Ray could start entertaining offers again from WWE. Did Vince McMahon just shoot on CM Punk? And what are the plans for WWE's next big debut? Click the videos to the left to find out more, press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was Wrestling.